Yay! I have another unboxing box. This time it's Lick Cube. And their November theme is Sorting Hat. It's from Harry Potter. And it's the mystery. You get a box full of goods. And your your house is a mystery. But I'm originally a Gryffindor. Go Gryffindor. And and let's just appreciate the box. Well, kind of. It got a little torn and dirty. But it's better than most boxes. And let's appreciate the size outline. I covered this because it sold my address and I didn't want it to be sold. So let's appreciate, uh, appreciate the design on the side, which is so cool. I love book designs on the inside, which is awesome. Alright, if I were to predict a house I would be showing into besides Gryffindor, it would be Ravenclaw, because I like the color blue. Alright, so let's get started. This is what the box looks like. Minus the blank. Let's open. Hopefully I didn't take the box. No! I taped the box with the tape. <laughs> Fail. That was a total fail. Either way, it wouldn't have to take it off. Got it. Okay. Now, let's unbox. Ready? One, two, three. What color? What color? Ooh, it's purple. Wait, who's purple? Is there purple? There's no purple in the purple houses, is there? Copper Puff is yellow and black. Graven Claw is blue and black. Blue and bronze, sorry. And then there's Slytherin with his uh, green and silver. Alright, so this is what we have. This awesome saying. Happiness can be found in the darkest place. Darkest of times. One can only remember to turn on the light. Awesome. I love the background, like the watercoloring. And on the back, it shows us what we have, which we will look at later. So, the box is purple. Okay, I'm going to have you guys look at it first. And if I don't... Yeah, okay, ready? One, two, one, two, three. Looks like we got a letter. I will post. And then we have these. Oh! Gryffindor! That is so cool! Okay, so I guess I didn't get other houses, but I got my house. That is totally awesome. But it would have been awesome to be other houses too. So that is awesome. I got Gryffindor. So what we have here is a... Ooh, should I put the box down? It's so cute. Is I don't know, a scarf? It looks like it could be a scarf. Let's open it up. And it is... Uh, it looks like it's a scarf, yeah. 100% polyester. It's so soft. Ah, yes. This is so cool. Look how cool it is. Whoa, that is awesome. Let me turn it the other way. Okay. So it's a scarf. And it has like Gryffindor character brave. Like brave, determination, chivalry. Is that nervous or nerve? Oh, nerve? Yeah, I guess it's nerve. Danger, brave. What's the other one? Uh, I can't read that one on the side. Courageous? Is that what it says? Oh. Resourceful. Ha! Okay, it says resourceful. So we got a scarf. That is freaking awesome. Got a Gryffindor scarf. That is so cool. Alright, I'm going to put it on. This is so cool. I got my house, but it would be really cool to get other houses. Alright, let's try it on. Ah, this is so cool. I got my house. Ah, the long hair problems. Okay. 
Our next one is this cute little decal. Look how cute it is. It has um stencil, I guess. Nine and three quarters, the HP stick no, the sorting hat and the Harry Potter and Harry's head. So basically this is a nail glam nail decal. Okay. So this is the nail decal. That's cool. I'm probably never gonna use this, but that's cool. All right, our next item is ooh, a student handbook, you guys. That is so cool. We got a student handbook. Even though I don't go to school anymore, I should go back to school. And it has a cute saying on it. Uh, let me see if I can read it backwards. Uh, you might, nope, nope, okay, let me try this again, you might be long in Gryffindor, uh, nope, I'm not going to do that, you might be long in Gryffindor, where dwell in, the... where, I'm so excited, where Joe the Brave, uh, at heart, and their daring nerve and chivalry, set Gryffindor apart, that is so cool, let's open it and see what's inside, this is so cool. Really careful. And it's so leathery. Look how cool the detail is. That is so awesome. And then, I think it's magnetic. Yeah, it's, ma it's a, a magnetic clothes. And let's look at the inside. That is so cool, you guys. Let's see, what else do we have here? It's like a standard mini student notebook. So we have goals and the calendar. That's awesome. <laughs> Random stuff. Random stuff. Buggy. Random stuff. Wait. It's not being bright anymore. I need my light. Hello. There we go. We got light. Alright, and then other stuff. So, this is cool. Random stuff and get stuff done. That's what it says. So, let me pan it. It's getting dark. Ah, oh, some stupid lighting in this room. Alright, let's see. Is there anything else? Nope, just that. That's so cool. You can put more stuff into it too. Maybe I'll just use the nail decal as stickers. <laughs> it would be more awesome. And then we got some empty notes in the back. That's awesome. I like it. And we got a pen holder. Alright. I love this notebook. This notebook is so cool. Alright. Our next item. Is a... Looks like a snack. Gilligan stick candy. Gilligan stick candy. It's yellow. It looks like it's lemon flavored. Rum and butter. Rum and butter. Okay, I'm going to try it. Uh, just a little bit. Oh, maybe I might break my... Ow. I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I feel like it tastes, it tastes like a little bit like butterscotch. That's what it tastes like to me. It tastes a little bit like butterscotch. But it's good. Yep, it definitely tastes like butterscotch. But it said it's the flavor of rum and butter. And we're going to be out of snack. And then we got a book. Called. Oh no. Aw. We got. Marked. That's sad. So what we got is a book, The League of Beastly and Dreadfuls, hmm. by Holly Grant and pictured by Joji Portello. It's so cool. And then this side. I'm doing the other way. Is it this way? Cool. So basically what this book is about, 
It said warning. Sorry, the taste in my mouth. <laughs> this book is chock full of dreadful things, comedy, evil plans, and attacking poodles. And it's not suitable for nice little boys and girls. Take my advice. Practice your posture instead. Mr. Zulala. 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 I can't even pronounce this name. Okay, let me see. Drusilla, I think that was said, Miss Drusilla Jelly Monk, Etiquette Expert. Hmm. For more and appropriate readings, see my etiquette manual for prim and proper sort. Expert inside. So this is what the summary says. That is very cool. And the cover is very cool too. So this would be an interesting book. So basically, join the league. I'm reading the cover. So basically, it says Anastasia is a completely average, almost 11 year old. That is until her parents die in a tragic vacuum cleaner accident. Okay, that's just <laughs> really random. Until she is rescued by two long lost great aunties. And until she's taken. The and until she's taken to the delightful and her authentic Victorian home, St. Agnes Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be very interesting as I read the summary. Their Anastasia aunties give her everything a girl could want. A cozy room that is a chamber pot under the bed. Trump this meal, mm, mystery lumps, and character building responsibilities, catching leeches? But something strange is going on at the asylum. Are those poodles attacking the garden? Is it odd that her aunties were at the same rank as the evil school secretary? As the evil school tech secretary? And why, for the goodness sake, do they collect pictures of missing children? What the heck? Anastasia is soon begin to suspect that her aunties are not who they say they are. Ah, not who they say they are. So when she meets Quentin and Ollie, two mysterious brothers, the three join a plot to, his, to their escape. That is so... Okay, this book is more intriguing and very interesting. Okay, so about the author. Let's see what the author says. Holly Grant. So this is her picture. And let's read about her. And she says, Have a lovely, spine tingling, spooky story since she was your age. So, how long has she had it? Because I'm like in my 20s. Yeah. So, if Holly were a kangaroo, she would always keep a good mystery novel to her, in her pouch. Hmm, that's very good. If she were a spider monkey, she would climb up to the tippy top shelf where all the secret books are hidden in the public library. That's true. There's a, there are some good in public libraries. And what else do you say? If she were human, she would have been able to type this story herself instead of dictating their entire, bleh, entire manuscript to a suspiciously mon brow secretary named Miss Need. Visit Holly in the BC Dreadful at bcdreadful.com. So, if you're interested in this book, I'll leave a link on where you can get it. This book is very interesting. I can't wait to read it. Just look at it. So then, either this must be her aunties, one of her aunties, or the secretary. And do they have a poodle? Wait, are these both her aunties? Looks like these two could be. And why he's in a cage? Which one is that? That's very interesting. This book is very interesting. Alright. I'm going to read it. When soon I'm done with this. <laughs> Alright, so this is all that's in the book. Oh, I'm sorry. In the box. This is all that's in the box. Is this all it? Hmm. Guess so. Hmm. Sorry about the face. So we got uh, all this left is this brown fuzzy that it looks like you do for Easter. 
All right, so let's recap in this this thing that I don't remember. Okay, so readable. We have the League of BC Jeffles by Holly Grant, a sixteen ninety nine dollar value. So this book, it says. A creepy Victorian house, secret aunties, secretive aunties, and a great escape combined in this debut that is part mysterious Benedict Society and part Ronald Dotto. Doll. I think doll, right? Doll. D A H L. And all quirky, smart, hilarious story joined the league. Wearable. A exclusive Hogwarts house scarf for fourteen ninety nine. <clears throat> A fifteen dollar value. Well, I'm glad I got my house, but it would be really cool to get other houses too. That would have been awesome. Exclusively, like, exclusively designed to manu and manufactured for LitCube subscribers. So your house probably with this lovely high quality scarf. Ah! Yay! Um, snackable. Old fashioned candy sticks. Where did I put it? It says, and it's, we can imagine the weekly trend selling these to students on campus. Do you get root beer or butter beer? So, rum and butter. So, I'm guessing you got butter beer? But it tastes like, um, what did I say that would taste like before? I don't remember. And we have other great items. Our exclusive house handbook organizer, $35.99. So, this thing. This awesome student handbook. And then design, it said it's designed in Manchester just for our subscribers. Exclusive Harry Potter organized sticker designed by Nerdy Girl Designs. A $399 value. Oh, is this what is this in the envelope? Oh, we forgot the envelope, you guys. And <laughs> okay, and then we have the Harry Potter theme nail the kilt, a five ninety nine dollar value, also designed by Nail Glams. So, which is this thing? But I'm pretty sure I might use it as a sticker too. But let's look at, let's open this mail that I totally forgot in the first time you saw it. So it says I'll post. It's just completely blank. Let's open it. Yeah, when you suck at opening things. Yeah, close enough. Okay, ready? I'm gonna let you guys look at it first. Is this enough room? Ooh. So it's. I can't read that backwards. But it's a really cute card. Um, Nerdy Girl Designs Magnetic Bookmark Planner Stickers. I like her business card, it's so cute. <coughs> Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> you would just die if you saw this. Look how cute it is. Oh my god. Cute. Meh. All cute. Because we have Harry, um, Dumbledore, Hermione, Hagrid, Ron, and um, this dude. Bald dude. He should not be named Voldemort. And we have Hermione and Hagrid. And we got a Deathly Hollow. And then we got these stickers. Remember, um, odds and ends, little things, and to do. These are so cute. These are so cute. Okay, now I'm satisfied. <laughs> oh my god, these are so cute. I wish I could get more of these. God, now I'm excited to use this planner. Oh my god, these are so cute. Ah! Okay, <sighs> calm down. And our next month theme for December, I think, is. Let me look, let me look, let me look. Is Sherlock themed. It, uh, I look on their Facebook and they said they're gonna, they're gonna have two books. One is YA and one is brand new. This Releasing in December of this year here 
and it's also it's also gonna be signed and it's gonna have something exclusive so that would be and they might have something wearable so the next month theme is show basically if you want to know what's in this box uh, how much it costs per month it's like um thirty four ninety five per month but if you use like a discount depending it Depending on how much the discount is, it's mostly like ten percent. You can get it down to thirty one forty six. So it depends, I guess. So I might wait for the next box to come too, cause I'm kind of into Sherlock. So I can't wait to see what's in that box. <sighs> All right, so I'll see you guys in the next unboxing. Bye.